today I've got the Loot Crate DX, which is one of the most expensive boxes that you can purchase from Loot Crate, which is a subscription service. This is actually uh, the June 2019 Loot Crate DX box. That is correct. You're asking me, why are you opening it up so late? Well, it's because I just got it literally week and a half ago, week ago, something like that. Loot Crate has been sending out the past pretty much six month, six months of boxes. Six months of boxes. Can't say that word for some reason right now. And they're just trickling in randomly. And I got another one. Uh, Loot Crate DX. It said uh, this is the June 2019. So, uh, usually they would ship out towards the end of the month. So, I mean, this is pretty much, it's like five months late. At least I got it. You know what I'm saying? Because Loot Crate DX did, or Loot Crate filed for bankruptcy. They are now owned by Money Chest LLC, which is primarily financed by the NECA Corporation, which is a major collectible toy company. And... I, I, I guess Loot Crate's actually changed their name now to Loot Company or Loot Extravaganza or something. So they're no longer, I guess, Loot Crate. They're Loot coming at you or something like that. I don't even know. I just heard that they changed their name now. You know what I think to kind of get away from the Loot Crate kind of black cloud. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. June. 2019 Loot Crate DX. This box retails for 50 bucks a month. Back February of 2019, they had a 50% off code that pretty much worked for every single subscription box there was. And I got subscriptions for Loot Crate DX, Loot Crate, Loot Gaming, Loot Fright, Loot something or loot, Harry Potter Loot, whatever it's called, half off. So this I actually got for $25 a box. Which is a fantastic deal, because just a t-shirt in this box pretty much is worth what this box costs. And uh, yeah, Loot Crate giving 50% off promo codes didn't really help their business model. It just made them, I think, go more into debt. But, you know. Here we go. Let's see. Hopefully this box is full of at least half new items, because they've been fulfilling... They're five months, six month, four month old boxes with just recycled items from like boxes from two years ago that they're pulling out, out of their warehouse just to just to fill them and get them out, which at least they're fulfilling some boxes, you know. Let's actually do the t-shirt first. It is right on top. It is a white t-shirt. I prefer black t-shirts. It's my personal preference. I wear black like 95% of the time. So let's see what this one is. This is like Loot Crate is kind of like a pop culture kind of uh, subscription box. So I can see through the back of this shirt that this is not a shirt I'll probably ever, yeah, I'll never wear this. It's kind of a cool graphic though, but I absolutely hate the three quarter length sleeves. I freaking hate those shirts. But uh, Reptar with Rev Up Sparking Action. The logo is actually kind of cool, but I mean, I'm not going to wear a Rugrats t-shirt. That's just me. And it's a baseball, like three quarter length t-shirt. But it actually is really, it's not that bad. The logo's not bad. And I mean, if you're into this kind of a t-shirt, that's not bad for you. But yeah, I mean, me, not, not my style. Even though I don't really have style, but that's not my style, whatever style I do have. Next, we have a little plushie. It's still sealed in the wrapper. It says World of Nintendo Loot Crate Exclusive. Green Squid. Little plushie. Made by Jax. 2016. So yeah, this would have been in, in a Loot Crate box like three years ago. So this is recycled from a past box. This t-shirt. It's tagged 2019. So this t-shirt though is, this is a new t-shirt. Oh, disregard. It actually says Loot Wear. Oh, so it, it's Loot Wear and Loot Crate DX. So anyway, but that is that is recycled from a previous box. Next, some squishy. 
Oh, we got a Captain Marvel towel. Man, if I pull this thing out, I will never get it back into the package. And I, I won't be keeping this towel no matter what. Just, uh, so I, I don't really use beach towels. I mean, unless you go to the beach, but then like these are so thin, like it's not really that great. But I'm gonna keep this in the package and hopefully the cheat sheet has the full picture of this. But yeah, it's just a Captain Marvel beach towel, which, you know, is not that bad, but I don't really need it. Next item, Astro Boy Light Up Figure, Tezuka Productions. I don't know what that is. It's factory sealed. Honestly, I'm just going to sell this thing. I don't know what this is. Loot Crate exclusive on top. The bottom, though, says 2018. So this would have been in a Loot Crate box back a year ago plus. So this is also recycled from a previous box. So right now it looks like the majority of items have been recycled probably except for the t-shirt. Here's a monthly pin. And it is Mr. Potato Head. Okay. 2019, so this is probably going to be a new pin then. Exclusive to this box. I don't really know what the theme is so far of this box. Got a Rugrats t-shirt, Captain Marvel Beach Town, Nintendo plushie, Mr. Potato Head pin, and this thing, Astro Boy figurine. I'm about to say, it's not superheroes. It's kind of, well, I, mean, I don't know. We got video games, anime, cartoons. I don't know what the theme is here. Is that it? Yep. That's it. Here's a cheat sheet. Hmm, okay. Cheat sheet, this is supposed to come out six of 19. That was a long time ago. So, yeah, here's the, you gotta remember at full price, this is a $50 box right here. And, they're, and I think they usually say that they'll give you like double back in value. Yeah, okay. But here's this. Rugrats t-shirt. Rugrats raglan. Grab a bowl of Reptar cereal and catch up with your favorite 90s Nick Tunes in this class in this comfy t-shirt licensed by Loot Crate. So that is a new item. Splatoon plush. Show your true color with this Splatoon plush. A past loot anime item. So they even say this is a past item. This was like, what, 2016? So this is like three years ago, probably. It was in a, a, a anime box. So that's rehashed. And then you've got the Astro Boy. That's actually what it looks like right there. Without taking it out of the box, that Astro Boy figure. It lights up, and I guess it's red in color whenever it lights up. It says, blast off this Astro Boy figure, a popular past loot anime item. His hard to enter mechanisms light up red when activated so this also is a past loot anime item from last year and then here is here's the beach towel that's actually what it looks like without taking it out of the package because i'm not going to keep it i just really just sell it while it's still in the package but bonus loot crate original captain marvel towel we're in we're, in, we're can't talk we're inducting you into the Carol Corps with this cool Captain Marvel beach towel featuring stellar art of the strongest Avenger. Licensed from Marvel, made by Loot Crate. So that actually might be a new item. I'm not 100% sure on that. It doesn't say it is a, it's a, a past item, so maybe that's a new item, possibly. That. Then the potato head pin. Features Hasbro classic eyes, so it looks like that's also new. So, out of the five items, two were definitely from past. That's questionable. So, about half the items are from past anime boxes. So, yeah, this was just thrown together with a bunch of old stuff again. I mean, value-wise, if I paid a full $50, would I be happy? You know, this t-shirt, $25.00. Beach towel, 15 bucks. Oh, you know, 15 bucks for a licensed beach towel. 40. This figure, $10. 50. These combined, like 
five bucks. I'd say the value of this is probably gonna be like fifty-five, sixty dollars tops. You know, if you pay full price of fifty, pretty much you got your value back. But if you had past anime boxes from the past couple years, then you got duplicates out. So that kind of stinks if you if you got duplicates. But uh, I spent twenty five bucks, so of course my value I got it back fantastically. But like I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna. I'm actually not gonna keep anything from from this box. I didn't really really like anything but you the viewer might have gotten this box and you loved it but me there's nothing in this box that i i liked i'm going to keep there's nothing so it was kind of it was kind of a letdown box half of the stuff was old half was new and it had no theme just a bunch of crap just thrown together from video games anime superhero and a child plastic you know miss potato head doll so yeah well, at least I got my June box finally. Thanks, Loot Crate. See you next time. I'm out.